Hello, I'm James from Comptong, New York. Today, I'm going to show you a video of assembling an InWin Mini ITX Slim Case Budget PC. This case has 150 watt power supply and comes at a low price among InWin ITX cases. The horizontal and vertical sizes are 8.9 by 7.6 inches and weigh 4.6 pounds. Let's start with unboxing. As you can see, there is a power cord and SATA cable in the case. I see the front panel cable inside. Also, the case can be placed vertically and horizontally for convenience. This time, we chose a low profile cooler from Silverstone, which has good cost effectiveness. I bought it at $20 from Amazon. In this build, I'm trying to install a motherboard with a high cost effectiveness i5-4590 Intel CPU and a 1150 socket. First, I will install 8GB of DDR3 memory. Push and insert until you hear a click. Once the memory is fitted, then open the socket cover, carefully place the CPU, and lower and lock the socket lever. And then I'm going to install a CPU cooler. Before that, apply the thermal paste a little bit to the center of the CPU and then place the cooler on top. If it is raised well, place the lock lever on the hole and lock it down as hard as possible. If secure, connect the CPU fan connector to the motherboard header. Now, loosen the screws on both sides of the casing side and remove the panel. Move the 24-pin power cable, 4-pin CPU power cable, SATA power cable and front panel cable outwards well. To install the motherboard into the case, first locate the motherboard front panel header and connect the case panel cables one by one. Connect Power SW, HDD LED, Power LED. It also connects the USB 3.0 cable and the front audio cable. Install the I.O. shield panel on the back of the case. Now, let's go ahead and turn over the SATA cable and the SATA power cable to the hard disk to the side panel. It is not easy to move the cable because the case is small, but the cable needs to be removed because the side panel hard disk needs to be installed.
Carefully place the motherboard into the casing when all the cables are removed. Place it into the groove of the I.O. shield. Tighten the motherboard with screws to secure it. Push the cable inward to make it look good. When finished, cover and screw. Now, let's attach an SSD to the other side and connect it. Push and pull out the hard disk retaining panel, then place the SSD with screws and secure it. When you're done, put it back in place and connect the SATA cable to finish. Now, it's all done. This mini ITX case is small, so it's easy to carry around and you can carry it in a backpack. You can connect to TV at home and enjoy simple work, web surfing, and YouTube in a fast Windows environment. See you in the next video. This has been James. Thanks for watching.